Good morning, my peeps! Hope you missed me after my last week's break. I went over to Denmark as I always do. I don't seem to go anywhere else. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comment section how much you missed me. I hope you missed me a lot. Anyway, today we're doing something slightly different. Today is like a classic day in the life concept, uh, which is for two reasons. One of them is there's kind of like a bunch of little things going on in Edinburgh right now, and none of them really kind of like makes for a full video. So I thought that if I plan this right, I can kind of like take you out and show you a bunch of things that are on right now. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna go to the museum, see a special exhibit, and also also one more special feature that they've just introduced and we're gonna go to town maybe grab some lunch together maybe go to one of my favorite cafes uh, the second reason because I mentioned there are two is that I want to test out my trusty 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 not really trusty mm -hmm. vlogging camera this is the g7x this is the g7x mark 3 I used to have the g7x no mark <laughs> which was you know mark one i guess from today's perspective and it used to be my favorite vlogging camera ever the only thing it was missing was a mic jack and i was so pumped when i found out that the mark III came with uh, the little microphone holy hole so that was great but unfortunately since then uh, this camera has been letting me down and down and down and no matter how many times i've updated the firmware it has always been a pain in my butticles i'm gonna be shooting in 4k and then I'm gonna like condense it and hope it's gonna be a bit sharper than usual uh, but it just seems to have like an autofocus thing if someone tells you that this is the ultimate vlogging camera don't believe them just <laughs> vlog on your phone let's stop talking and let's start doing some fun stuff let's go After breakfast I popped out to Old Town. Living in Dalry I am always just a short walk away from both Old Town and New Town which is great and both are so nice and quiet in the morning. The only downside of being an early bird is that Edinburgh's attractions are only really waking up at about 10 am so I had to wait out my museum reservation in a coffee shop. I chose Black Medicine for an Americano and a bit of my audiobook. I'm currently getting through the Ben Aronovich series, so if you're also reading these or if you've already read them, let me know in the comments below and let me know if you love them just like me. As a little bonus, Black Medicine is right next to Blackwells, which is not only a great spot for book lovers, but also people who love tabletop gaming. In the past year or so, they have really invested into their game section, catering to tabletop RPG players and also just like classic board gamers. So if you're playing with your family or small kids, or you know, you're looking for something that takes 16 hours to finish, they will have anything. I actually picked up two travel games for my Copenhagen trip, which came in handy. So, as mentioned before, one of the big things I have decided to do with you today was revisiting the National Museum of Scotland. This is a great spot to visit under any circumstances and it's a great free activity if it is a rainy, ugly, horrible, horrible day. But I was lured in by the Audubon exhibit um, to learn more about this American naturalist and his connection to Edinburgh. The museum has also recently introduced a little LGBTQ plus audio walk, which I also tried while visiting. Find it on the Smartify app. For 
Before lunch, I was able to talk Simon into taking a break from work and join me. We ventured into West End to see what we can find. I love this little area so much, but I almost never visit the businesses here. Normally, I'd want to visit Tuchter's, as they make delicious food, but it was very loud today and I just wasn't feeling it. So we popped across the street to the Voyage of Buck. This was quite a cute little gastropub and empty and quiet, but to be perfectly honest with you, the food was quite overpriced. After this we split and I had some time to kill before meeting a friend. First I popped over to George Street to find a present for my mom's birthday. The practical thing is that my mom's birthday is at the start of March, where UK comes up with like all of the Mother's Day stuff. If you're not aware, UK celebrates Mother's Day on a different day than the rest of the world. I think that we kind of keep it until May, but here it happens at the end of March. I also really wanted to check out the Egg and Company, a showcase of female-led businesses, which is placed in the same space where Scottish Design Exchange used to be, so if you've ever been there, then you know what to look for. to dinner time! So normally we make homemade meals Monday to Thursday and Fridays tend to be kind of open for a takeaway or maybe having a dinner outside. Most often I sway the choice towards my favorite poke bowls, um, either soul sushi, which would be my very very favorite, but bentoya, which is much closer to us, has a better choice of tasty non-poke comfort food, so that's what Simon went for. And so it is finally evening. It's been a really long day with quite a lot of walking, quite a lot to do. And uh, I was really happy to take you with me. I thought that was quite fun to do today. I hope you also enjoyed seeing Edinburgh in kind of a less structured way. Um, maybe it was just a nice chill walk for you. Uh, maybe you learned something new. Maybe you saw something that you would super like to try yourself when you're visiting. Uh, either way, uh, unless you absolutely hated it. I would, of course, as always, love to hear from you down in the comments below. And as mentioned at the start of this video, I would also love to hear what you think about the quality of the footage in this video. Again, this isn't technically something that's new. I do use that camera pretty often. Um, but uh, yeah, right now I'm kind of in a in a trial mode to see if it's worth really like going out with it and trying stuff with it or if I should just give up and shoot stuff on my phone or obviously on this nice camera but this nice camera doesn't have any autofocus or inner stabilization so it's a quite a lot of faff and it's very heavy anyway uh, by the way these are my my dogs this is uh, Shibachek and this is Chimkin. They are from two different trips to Japan and they are my support dogs because when I sleep I kind of put them on my side so I don't like roll over and uh, hurt my hip because I'm an old lady. Some of you think that I'm in my 20s. That is far from truth. So I use these plush animals to save my hips. That is a normal thing that people not in their 20s do. There was one last thing that I did today, uh, which I didn't shoot for the vlog because um, sometimes I just get socially kind of weird around other people. And that was meeting a fellow YouTuber. Her name is Daria and uh, this is her channel. And she makes videos kind of more of a vloggy, talky style from Edinburgh, not necessarily about Edinburgh, but you should check her out anyway, because it's just nice that, uh, you know, there's a little bit of a YouTuber community popping up right now. And I'm always excited to meet more people who do this weird thing just like me. Okay, so I guess that that is truly it for today. As you saw, there was a lot happening and I am so very tired. I can't wait to be back there among uh, my little lighty lights and with my dogs and just dozing away yes with some with some podcasts my favorite podcast is uh empty bowl which is a uh, meditative podcast about cereal check it out that truly was the last fact nugget about my day and i shall see you either on instagram on khaki bot or khaki blog or in my next video which will be longer and it will have a more polished concept um but yeah i will see you there i hope <laughs> okay guys good night
Thank you for joining me, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye. Woof. <laughs>